Hello and welcome back to this uh, sequence on the forces topic from um, the AQA GCSE. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, next stage of the acceleration calculations and look at the uh, higher tier stuff. Right, so you should be aware that velocity is speed in a set direction. That makes it a vector quantity. Should also be aware that acceleration is change in velocity divided by time. Now you could be asked to answer some questions or interpret uh, velocity time graphs. So, an increase in velocity is represented by an upwards gradient. The same speed or the same velocity is represented by a horizontal line and then something that is decreased in velocity is represented by a negative gradient. Now here, because we've gone from positive velocity to negative velocity, this represents a change in direction. So for example, a car doing a U-turn would mean that the velocity has now become negative. So it's a change in direction. So increase in velocity, velocity stays the same. Decrease in velocity, change in direction there. And from here, we've now got an increase in negative velocity. Okay, calculations that you could be expected to do. We know that if this is on our y-axis and this is on our x-axis, that if we take the gradient where we've got change in velocity here and we've got time, then the gradient is equal to that acceleration calculation. The other thing that we could be asked to calculate is to be asked to calculate the distance that it's travelled. Now, to calculate the distance that it's travelled, we need to take into account that distance is equal to velocity times time. Okay, so if we have got the area of a rectangle and we wanted to calculate that, then we multiply 9 by 3 in this example. So by the same concept, if we've got velocity on the y-axis and time on the x-axis, it would be the area of this trapezium that would tell us how far that the distance has uh, changed um, for that object. Okay. The other thing that you would need to take into consideration, okay, is that we're only calculating the distance for the area under that trapezium, the only thing for that shape. Okay? Other things that we've seen asked, or the other things that you could be asked to interpret, is what a velocity time graph might look like in a situation. So if we've got a ball that's dropped from rest, hits the surface, and then moves back the other way, okay? then because it's accelerating due to gravity, then the velocity is increasing, okay? It's getting faster and faster and faster until it hits the floor. When it hits the floor, it's gonna bounce in the other direction. And because there's a change in velocity, it's gone from positive to negative, and the minute that it leaves the floor, or the second that it leaves the floor, it's starting to slow down until it gets back to the peak. So that's something that's a little bit weird, okay, it may take your head to get around, but the change in direction represents that it's gone from positive to negative. So that's what a bouncing ball graph would look like. The last higher skill would be to answer a calculation where you're asked to calculate acceleration without time. Now fortunately this is on the data sheet, so you would not need to remember this, okay, but you would need to apply it. There are five letters in physics that we use for things in this equation. S we use for displacements, and that comes from spatial location, so that's why we use S, okay? U represents the initial velocity. V represents the final velocity. A represents the acceleration and T represents the time. If you've got an equation where um, you don't get given the time, um, that's fine. On the data sheet, you are given V squared, take away U squared, 
equals 2as. So if you get a question and there's no time, use that equation instead. And what I would make sure that you can do is make sure that you're familiar with all the rearrangements of that. So a good task for you to do would be make sure that you're happy with the algebra and you can use the square roots, etc. Thank you for listening.